Welcome to Ship Management Part 1 which will be about Configure Voyage and also Targeting. Click on the helm and click Configure Voyage. Right now we're set up for pillaging. This bar below here determines what kind of strength the ship we ought to attack should have. That's easy, average, hard and very hard. I recommend for beginners that you start at average to hard. Below this bar we see targets. This slide bar determines if we're gonna auto attack Bridgens and or Barbarians. Right now it's in the middle so we'll attack both. If I slide it to the left we'll only attack Bridgens, which means sword fight. And if I slide it to the right we'll only auto attack Barbarians, which means Brumble. If I tick this box we'll also also attack player vessels. I don't recommend this for beginners. Moving on to trade. This is when you want to move commodities like iron and wood, hemp, etc. This text box below allows you to set the amount of coal you're going to pay each pirate per league point that you hire from the notice board. Moving on to swap a ship transport. This means that you hire computer pirates to transport the ship for you, so you don't have to be aboard when this is done. However, these swabbies do not work for free, unfortunately, so you have to pay them 10 po per leak point per swabby and on a sloop or a cutter you get up to 4 swabby so if I want to move this ship 10 leak points I would have to pay 400 po. Moving on to flotilla attack. I strongly advise against this if you're a beginner because you can actually sink your ship and it's full of Britain kings. Moving on to sea monster haunts that would be Atlantis and cursed isles but you can sink in there so it's not a place for beginners. If you for some reason should want to get to port really fast, either because you have to go or that you got really big damage and you don't want to continue, you can use evading. This means we won't spawn as many ships as if we were pillaging. And you can change from pillage to evading at any point in the pillage, so if you want to go home, just use that. It's brilliant. Let's talk about auto-targeting. If this is on, it means that any ship within the parameters that we've set up here comes into close proximity we will auto engage it. There's one downside to that. If we attack them and we lose the fight we won't be able to re-engage them which is what a lot of good people do if they lose a battle. They don't use auto targeting. They let the enemy ships attack them so they can re-engage if they should lose the battle. And that was basically it. Thanks for watching.